So this is the most common polyp in, a co in the colon, a hyperplastic polyp. And even the humble hyperplastic polyp can occasionally pose a question. So let's go over the classic histologic features of a hyperplastic polyp and then address the specific question that is being posed by this polyp. So let's start here. This is a very typical hyperplastic polyp. The first thing you'll notice is the incredible star-shaped profiles. The serrated profiles is something that you do want to see to make a diagnosis of a hyperplastic polyp. What do I mean by star-shaped profile? That's exactly what I mean. Doesn't that look a little like a star? And of course, depending on how the polyp is cut, you'll see these sawtooth-like profiles. Here's a sawtooth-like profile. Here's another one. Here's another one. And that is what is meant by a serrated profile. After the epithelium, particularly on the top, shows this very hypermucinous appearance. The cells are filled with these microvesicular vacuoles. This is the so-called microvesicular type of hyperplastic polyp. And these cells are thrown up in little tufts, what I sometimes refer to as that very frilly edge to a hyperplastic polyp. And that's another very characteristic feature. Another feature that perhaps is not as well represented here is often on the left side, the hyperplastic polyp is associated with a thickened basement membrane. Here, the basement membrane looks slightly thickened, but isn't quite as prominent as you typically see. The other issue I wanted to address is that if you look in the mid-crypt area and sometimes at the base of a hyperplastic polyp and you stare down at the epithelium like here, you might notice that the nuclei are somewhat hyperchromatic and somewhat larger than you would expect. This is not an adenoma because when you back out, you will quickly realize that this slight atypia that is seen here matures out on the surface. So hyperplastic polyps can occasionally acquire that bluish tinge that you see with a, with a tubular adenoma, but watch for that maturation on the surface. Hyperplastic polyps will mature into that hypermucinous frilly epithelium on the surface. Hyperplastic polyps can be can show a significant amount of inflammation in the lamina propria. This is not to be mistaken for colitis. And then there's the 800 pound gorilla in the room, isn't it? There is some dilatation, slight dilatation of some of these basal crypts. Remember, this was in the rectum and each of these polyps measured less than 0.5 centimeters. And then there is this. It appears as if some of these crypts have broken past this muscularis mucosae and are extending into the submucosa. A prolapse type change, but we'll come back to this in a second. Let's take a look at quickly at this fragment. This is a big lymphoid aggregate in the submucosa. The crypts look perfectly okay at the base. This certainly does not look like a sessile serrated polyp, but it certainly has that frilly appearance that is somewhat cauterized on the surface. This is again a hyperplastic polyp. Notice how blue it looks down here as well with a lovely maturation on the surface. And finally to the most interesting fragment of them all. So that looks like a serrated polyp, right? And then there is this thing which appears to be in the submucosa but is also serrated. So let's take a closer look. So no question there is hyperplastic changes on the surface lovely serrations. There is the issue of slight dilatation at the base and then there is the issue of prolapsed epithelium prolapse into the submucosa. So two questions arise. Is this enough to call this a sessile serrated polyp? And two, is this just prolapse or is this invasive carcinoma? Well, I'll give you my two cents worth. When you have prolapse-like changes, particularly on the left side, you tend to see some dilatation in the basal regions of the crypts. In my book, this does not qualify for a sessile serrated polyp, but I bet my bottom dollar that there will not be a 100% agreement on this. Perhaps the easier part of this argument is, 
is is this invasive carcinoma or is this prolapse and if you look at this on higher power the epithelium looks exactly like the epithelium on the surface the architecture looks serrated it's accompanied by lamina propria so this is very clearly prolapse so this is a hyperplastic polyp with prolapse type changes <music>